check this out, man. For my first story of the day, this is the first story of the day. I definitely got to say rest in peace to Jam Master J. Uh, the big story that did drop was the fact that two people, two people, this is according to the New York Times, this is according to every major news source available that two people have been charged with the killing of Jam Master J. Now, these, these guys have been suspects, according to the New York Times, since 2002. Since the killing of 2002, they've been suspects, but the police never quite got or indicted the person who was accused of, you know, uh, killing Jam Master J. And according to the New York Times and every single post out there, they have finally got it. And this is according to the New York Times right here. This was their article. I gotta say, and I, I, I must say, I do hope that this, now this is just the beginning. Let's just be clear. This is just the beginning. There's no, this is just an indictment. This is just the beginning. Again, this is, this was taken back in 2002, this crime happened. I hope this goes to the killing of the stereotype that arrests can't be made in hip hop. I really do. Because cases like this, this was cold for many years. The Jam Master J killing was cold. No, nobody said anything about it. It was just a cold case. And you've seen it happen with the Biggie Small case. You've seen it happen with the Tupac case. Big, so many other legends have died, especially in hip hop and rap and modern music, urban music, to where the stereotype is, well, if something happens to these guys, that's it. It just goes cold. I hope this goes a long way into changing that narrative and changing that perspective, because I must say, this was a long time coming. Did I, I think this was... There's been a lot of surprises in 2020, but I'm going to be honest with you. I think this was one of the pleasant surprises of 2020. I really do. Because you got to understand something. This nobody, I'm not going to say nobody, because of course there were friends and family and uh, collaborators of Jam Master J that will always remember his legacy. Sadly, always re will remember his death. But to the modern, to the mainstream public, this was all, this was a forgotten case, really, in the public eye. We Always remember Jam Master J anytime it was his birthday. Do not get me wrong. We cannot play Run DMC at all without acknowledging Jam Master J's presence. Don't get it twisted there. Finding the justice being brought towards him and his family, this went cold for many years. So I must say, and I'm going to have my homie, you know what I'm saying, my family, you know what I'm saying, my fam. You know, saying speak on it a little bit more because he brought it to the attention that this got to be talked about. This was a cold case for many years once again, and I must say that I am pleased to see that this is one of the most, you know, the the pleasant stories of 2020. Pretty, I see, I see, I see you. Thank you very much for joining in. I appreciate it. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to everybody in the chat, rocking out. Everybody in the rebroadcast, do me a favor if you don't mind. It's free, ninety nine. It don't cost a thing. So do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that, you know what I mean? Hit that share button if you can, and hit that notification bell. I really do appreciate it. But yeah, I just want to say this. I want to know, what is your thoughts on the fact that two men have been charged in the killing of Jam Master J? Do you feel like this will continue to be a cold case, or do you feel like this is a case where finally justice is going to be able to be brought to him and his family? Let me know down in the comment section. Appreciate it.